Guys, Bitcoin is right now getting rejected from the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level. And you know, guys, this is normally a sign of weakness and also a sign for a dead cat bounce. Is this what we now actually have to expect for the Bitcoin price? I will tell you exactly. Right now, I'm getting a call. It's absolutely insane. What is this call about? Yes, hello. Yes, that's fine. Perfect. Green apple juice is also nice. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, I just got a call from the room service because I ordered room service and they don't have lemon mint, but they have apple juice. But now let's just go to the charts and into my trades because as you guys know, I'm still in a short position that we opened yesterday because we exactly predicted the dump all the way down to the $44,000 to $45,000 level. So let's just jump right into the charts and let's take a look on what we have to expect now. Because as I already told you, when we saw the drop yesterday, I already told you that I was expecting that the Bitcoin price would reach the $44,000 to $45,000 level. And that actually happened perfectly. As you guys can see, we are so far bouncing out of this past resistance zone very, very aggressively. We are getting a very nice and strong pump out of it. And the daily candle is already closing in one hour and 42 minutes. So it's very, very it's, it's, a, it's very, very likely that we are actually going to close this daily candle above this very, very important support. And like I already said yesterday, then in this case, if we're closing this daily candle above, I'm actually going to close my short position. I will take some profits. The short trade is still in around $16,000, $17,000 in profit. My stop loss is placed in a profit. So this trade cannot go into a minus anyway, but I will close it. I will take some profits and rather actually scale up my long positions a little bit because let's just take a look what's happening on the smaller time frames because i think that there will be a decision made very very soon because on the smaller time frames if we are taking a look here there is a few interesting things happening first of all bitcoin was forming here this uh, somewhat of a bull flag or downwards trading channel and as you guys can see the pump that we saw today actually directly brought us back against this past support that now has turned into resistance so the first price level we need to break to the upside is the $46,500 level but it's not only because of this downward sloping resistance I don't think that is actually that relevant because it's only on the one hourly time frames also here the small triangle that I have right now in the charts guys don't be confused it's actually breaking right now to the upside but it's on, a, on such a small scale that I don't really think it's it's valid anyway so I'm not going to talk about this in the video but I want to talk about something way more important that I also mentioned in the beginning of this video and this is for sure our Fibonacci retracement level and as you guys know in the past few days and especially weeks we over and over and over again used the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level as a perfect indicator for a dead cat bounce. So guys I have to be completely honest here I won't scale up my long positions even if we break on the one hourly, the, the downward sloping resistance I just showed you where we are getting rejected the last couple of hours so far, even if we break this to the upside, I won't scale up my long trades. I will only scale them up as soon as Bitcoin actually closes a four hourly candle above the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level, which is exactly the 46 $46,700 level and in the best case for sure I would love to see on the smaller time frames then especially on the one hourly I would love to see if we're pumping above it right a beautiful retest and as soon as we um, break then the old high point to the upside once again so if we're breaking now the 0.6 to the upside right we see another correction to the downside we see a retest how we also predicted it with the daily time frame yesterday and that was also the reason why we did a short trade right because we expect that retest it perfectly happened i just showed you the retest on the daily time frame if this happens i would scale up my long position again so i think this here the 0.618 is an opportunity to scale up the long positions at two different times this is just my strategy this is this is just what i'm doing no financial advice here right but i will for sure make sure to not only scale uh, the position up on a successful breakout above the 0.618 no i will also scale them up as soon as we break the old high point and we have actually a bounce and breakout confirmation even besides that guys if we are getting rejected here from the 0.618 if we are not closing a candle above that i don't think there's any reason to be all too bullish yet right although we are bouncing here on the daily time frame right now very very heavily i think we have to wait on the smaller time frames 
until we break the the uh, 0.618 because as you guys can see this is now also exactly where the daily candle wick to so this can still be a potential dead cat bounce we, like we have seen a lot a lot of times now with bitcoin here in the past i mean i could easily just do like this the, the last time we opened opened a short trade right i mean look at this guys what did when did we open the last time a short trade exactly when we got here rejected from the 0.618 on the smaller time frames we shorted it again perfectly right and uh, the, the 0.618 uh, in the last couple of weeks has just been an, an, a perfect indicator to to pretty much find uh, bottoming scenarios for Bitcoin, right? And this is why we have been using them in the last couple of days over and over again. One single last thing I wanted to um, uh, put you guys, uh, uh, that I wanted to make sure that you guys know, my swing trade, my long swing trade, right? This trade, I won't scale up um, till we break the 47,600, but especially the $48,000 $48, level to the upside, because no matter how strong we are bouncing now off this horizontal support as long as we are not breaking to the upside out of this potential rising wedge right there's always the chance of bitcoin still reversing to the downside especially uh, with the smaller time frames right now struggling with the 0.618 overall guys i have to say i'm still bullish for bitcoin right i'm in way bigger long positions than shorts as you guys can see the top position, $177,000 in a profit. We already took $120,000 out of this trade, uh, out of this uh, a little bit over a million dollars trade. And then also my, my swing trade here with a 3x leverage, the $775,000 position, also still with 2.3 or 2.4 Bitcoin in a profit. Um, and also here the, the scalp short trade, right, that I'm uh, going to put my stop loss in a profit uh, pretty much right after this video. Because like I said, as you guys can see, my entry price is right above the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level. And as you guys know, if we break that to the upside, I want to scale up my long positions again. And then there's definitely no reason for me to still have this short hedge trade open that we opened two days ago but guys if you now enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe activate the bell next to the subscription button don't forget to smash up a like here on the video let's reach 1000 likes like we do on mostly all of my videos and besides that guys thank you very much for all the kind comments we are going to see us in the next one till then bye bye